It's a Mercedes diesel guy here again, and I am, an, I, as usual, I am an idiot with a wrench. Anyhow, I am not going to do too much today. It's already pretty late in the day. Um, see here, this is the fender I've been working on, and I really do want to finish it up this weekend and bolt it back to the car. Uh, mostly so I can then turn the car around and just get it in place so I can start work on the passenger side of the floor. So, what I'm going to be doing today uh, is just fiberglassing over this uh, damaged portion of the fender here. And let me just briefly review what I did last week. Uh, last week, I broke out my new uh, hammer and dolly set. And I actually uh, knocked the uh, dented area of the fender uh, back out smoother than it had been. Uh, it wasn't too bad, but I wanted it uh, even smoother so I could uh, use a an even thinner layer of Bondo than had been previously used when I finally sealed this off. And I also welded up the uh, original drill holes in the fender. What you see here is actually uh, damage I caused by trying to weld up uh, one single drill hole right over here. Uh, what happened was I was having trouble welding that one hole and I just kept uh, kept going over it and grinding and and uh, you know, trying to weld over it, and eventually I just I just made a huge mess of it, and figured that it was probably best off that I just uh, cut my losses and repair this right here with fiberglass, and then uh, finish the fender there out, finish out the fender from there with bondo. But uh, all in all, uh, seeing as I was able, seeing how as I was able to weld up maybe uh, four or five the four or five other holes. I'm really pleased with it. I've actually never had this much success with welding before, believe it or not. So, uh, I'm going to fiberglass over that, and then, um, you know, throw some Bondo at it. I might get to that tomorrow, and uh, smooth it out, uh, throw some coating on the back, and uh, and bolt the fender back to the car, and I'm undecided as to whether or not I'm actually going to shoot paint at it. I may just get the inside edge of it there, uh, just so it's protected, but I also may hold off painting until I, you know, get the whole car ready for it, which is not going to be for a long time, so. Uh, as it is, yeah, I'll probably just leave the whole thing primered. I mean, the, uh, the dented area here just getting back to this for a moment. It's certainly not perfect. You can still see it's uh, dented up, and I probably even caused a little bit of warping with all the welding I did, but I'm not too worried about that. Uh, all in all, it was a good learning experience, and I'll certainly have uh, better results even the next time I use the welder. So uh, that's where this is for now. I'm going to get to work and uh, uh, perhaps show you uh, what I have once I have the fiberglass on the car. Just wanted to take a quick video here before I went any further. So, in order to uh, do fiberglassing, first you get uh, fiberglass sheeting and uh, you cut out uh, the size you need roughly. Now, I uh, actually have a couple of squares here that I just cut out, roughly the right size. I'm going to, you know, one or two of these should do just fine. And then, what you do is you mix up the uh, fiberglass resin with the uh, liquid hardener uh, according to the ratio on the package there and then you only have a, uh, a fairly short uh, working time um, I use uh, I cut an old uh, milk bottle in half here and I use these as my mixing trays cheap easy to come by easily disposable and uh, then you um, you uh, wearing rubber gloves. You brush the resin on the um, on the fiberglass squares there, 
and then when it's dry, you sand it smooth, and uh, after that's done, I'm going to bondo over it. So I'll show you that all step by step, and I'll probably have to continue this video tomorrow. Well, it looks like I'm definitely going to be continuing this tomorrow. You can see here I have the uh, I have the fiberglass applied. That is all three layers there, and you see the uh, fiberglass and the resin. And I think it is uh, setting up uh, pretty quickly there. Still, uh, it's still wet though. I looked at the uh, I looked at the can of fiberglass resin here. And it tells me that I have to wait an hour and a half to two hours for this to fully cure before I can uh, go any further. And it's already past seven o'clock, so I'm going to call it a day. At least I did something on the car today, so I'm going to get back to this tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow will be fully cured. What I can do right then uh, is sand it down a bit, and it doesn't have to be. Uh, it actually doesn't even have to be. Uh, very exact because I'm going to be bonding over this so and I can also uh, seal off the back of that to prevent moisture coming through and uh, spoiling any of the bonded work on this side so tomorrow I'm going to be working on smoothing this out even more just to be sure of what I'm probably going to do and I'm just kind of thinking out loud and strategizing here is uh, once I get out here tomorrow, I'm probably probably going to spray the back of the fender with a couple of layers of the uh, truck bed coating, really just to seal in the repairs that I've done so far, and then uh, mount the fender where it's supposed to be. And in which case, uh, should probably uh oh. Didn't even primer that last week. I should primer that right now. I was about to say I should paint this right now, but that right there needs some uh, primer. So, you know, shoot some primer on that right now and uh, then get to uh, painting tomorrow.